Missions Locations of selected Mars landers and rovers There are a number of derelict orbiters around Mars whose location is not known precisely. There is a proposal to search for small moons, dust rings, and old orbiters with the optical navigation camera on the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. There should be eight derelict Mars orbiters barring unforeseen events if they have not decayed as of 2016. One example is Mariner 9, which entered Mars orbit in 1971 and is expected to remain in orbit until approximately 2022, when the spacecraft is projected to enter the Martian atmosphere and either burn up or crash into the planet's surface. The Viking 1 orbiter is predicted not to decay until at least 2019. One orbiter that is confirmed to have undergone Mars atmospheric entry is Mars Climate Orbiter. See also List of Mars orbiters Future missions In development Proposals Missions to the moons of Mars Missions dedicated to explore the two moons of Mars, Phobos and Deimos. Many missions to Mars have also included dedicated observations of the moons, while this section is about missions focused solely on them. There have been three unsuccessful dedicated missions and many proposals. Because of the proximity of the Mars moons to Mars, any mission to them may also be considered a mission to Mars from some perspectives. There have been at least three proposals in the United States Discovery Program, including PADME, Pandora, and Merlin. The ESA has also considered a sample return mission, one of the latest known as Martian Moon Sample Return or MMSR, and it may use heritage from an asteroid sample return mission. In Japan, the Institute of Space and Astronautical Science is developing a sample return mission to Phobos, due to launch in 2024. This mission is called Martian Moons Exploration MMX and is proposed as a flagship strategic large mission. MMX will build on the expertise the Japanese Space Agency JAXA would gain through the Hayabusa 2 and SLIM missions. As of January 2018, MMX is set for launch in September 2024. Three missions to land on Phobos have been launched. The Phobos program in the late 1980s saw the launch of Phobos 1 and Phobos 2, while the Phobos Grunt Sample Return mission was launched in 2011. None of these missions were successful. Phobos 1 failed en route to Mars, Phobos 2 failed shortly before landing, and Phobos Grunt never left low Earth orbit. Missions sent to the Martian system have returned data on Phobos and Deimos and missions specifically dedicated to the moons are a subset of missions Mars that often include dedicated goals to acquire data about these moons. An example of this is the imaging campaigns by Mars Express of the Mars moons. OSIRIS-REx-2 was a proposal to make OR a double mission, with the other one collecting samples from the two Mars moons. In 2012, it was stated that this mission would be the both quickest and least expensive way to get samples from the moons. The Red Rocks Project, a part of Lockheed Martin's Stepping Stones to Mars program, proposed to explore Mars robotically from Deimos. Topic. See also. Topic. References. <references>